Uh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, I wasn't planning on playing this game, but I had some... I was trying to do a bunch of other things. I was trying to see if I could get Resident Evil 4 um, randomizer working, and it, it does work, but there's, like, glitches, like, the graphical glitches I was dealing with, so I decided not to play it. Um, like, entire parts of the level disappearing and stuff like that, so... Um, so yeah, and I was trying to get some other things working and didn't work out. So I figured I'd just go back to Cyberpunk today and we can kind of chill and discuss um, the goings on in, in uh, gaming today as well. But yeah, good stuff. Welcome Shinigami, Bears. Uh, Shinigami, I think we missed you last week, right? I don't think you were... Uh, um, around. I think you probably had that the issue you're talking about, right? Uh, let's see. Let's do one of these missions here. Alright. Sidejaws. Following the river. Meet Johnny. Right. Yeah, they were a few circumstances kind of preventing me from showing up. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Young yeah, had a good video on Bayonetta stuff. Yeah, he's a voice actor. Yeah, I watched that actually today. Yeah, it was, uh, it's definitely a weird situation going on there. Not something, um, easily, like, easy decided, you know, like, as far as, um, hold on a second. Stand here. Stand. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Don't know if you've heard, but Are word me. is there's a mind-blowing, <laughs> industry-changing BD in the works. Get this. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Words even got this game's funny. Meet Johnny at the North Oak sign. Okay, let's go do this. But yeah, it's not an easy situation to the, to like figure out. It's really up to you. If you if you don't want to buy the game, it's, it, it, that's what it's always been. You know. If you don't want to buy the game, or if you do want to buy the game, it's up to you. Ultimately. The only threat to your leisurely stroll now is just Even before the situation arose. But yeah, even before the that, that whole thing happened, like I was a little suspect about this about Bayonetta three like, ever since they revealed it. 2021 it was kind of funny that uh <laughs> i got like some backlash on it on twitter because you know the fan fanboys like to get upset about this kind of stuff when you when you criticize their game but i mean legitimately the game does not does not look like the same type of effort was put into it as bayonetta 2 was and when you take out the voice actor that, that's like, that shows me right there that you don't care as much about Bayonetta herself as a character as you should. Like, you're not doing the character justice by actually not, not go, giving, you know, a little bit more money to the actor to get, get him to do the part. It, show, it shows that you basically just care about getting the game out in time for holidays. And, uh, or you just don't have the money to pay more than four thousand dollars which is ridiculous so that whole thing was just really really bad i think so the lights on So when I found out that Bayonetta wasn't going to be the original voice actress, and then when I saw how the game 
how the game looked. Kind of, you know, flat. It, d it doesn't look bad. You know, people people think by me saying it looks dated, it means it looks bad. No, 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 no. It doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look quite as good as the last game. <laughs> it doesn't look like they put the uh, same amount of effort into the uh, the art design. Like, I haven't seen any creatures that look really cool. Really, they all look kind of monotonish in their colors, and their designs are pretty monotonish. Um, again, they don't look bad. But when you look at the comparisons between this Bayonetta 3 and Bayonetta 2. Get out of my way. The um, Bayonetta 2 has a much better design on their on their creatures, their bosses, all that stuff. So again, if you disagree, that's up to you. But that's that's just my that's my opinion. This ought to work. So why are we here exactly? Heard Carey got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carey? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Want to pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Okay. So I gotta hit Carey's digs. Look around. Critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's Love depressed. The, uh, rain effects in this game looks so good. What really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person? Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough <laughs> for good behavior. Okay. Okay, but I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first. We got to get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Yeah, so... Yeah, Jennifer Hale and Commander Shepard. Yeah, I mean, they're not they're going to disclose how much they're paying these people. That's what she said. She got offered 4000 Uh Obviously, she... Something's obviously wrong there for her to come out and go crazy like that. Pretty much, you know, um, almost in tears. And yeah, the game has been in development for five years. It doesn't look like it's been in development for five years either. Like the game doesn't look doesn't look like it's been in development for five years. <laughs> put to put simply, Bayonetta two though that looked like it was in development for a normal AAA cycle. Great art design, had beautiful designed castles and art in the castles that you were that you were you know fighting in with the enemies. Great enemy design, um, really good. Uh, animation on on, on their cutscenes of lip syncing was really good all that stuff was done really good in bayonetta 2 a triple a type of game bayonetta 3 looks looks like it's like a double a type of experience like it's like not like it's like it looks good but it doesn't look like it's like their top top effort you know what i'm saying like it looks like they cut some corners and obviously take not having the main character a Bayonetta voice, be the voice, uh, Helena Taylor. Uh, man, you know, it's disappointing. That was all before this happened with the whole paying thing. And then you have Hideki Kamea coming out and blocking people left and right. His Twitter account got, got suspended for doing that, I guess. Like, I guess Twitter didn't like what he's doing. Um, uh, yeah, he's, he's an idiot. He's a jerk. Uh, using his power over people, you know, don't ask me questions, I'll block you, type of stuff. That's just a stupid, idiotic thing to do. He's an idiot, let's just be real. Um, and he's the, like, director or producer, or one of the producers on Bayonetta 3. Um, I really don't like how he's acted, um, ever, really. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a few things. The Switch itself is old. It's old technology. You got, and they're trying to shoehorn a game like this 
onto the switch at the at the towards the end of its life cycle but also it looks like it's lower budget as, as well i think there's better looking switch games in beta 3. i think astral train astral train looks like it had a bigger budget in my opinion like it, it just looked more polished actually so i don't know man again this is just my interpretation i haven't played the game so, but from everything I've seen, it doesn't, doesn't look like quite the same type of experience as Bayonetta 2 as far as polish and overall quality is concerned. Then you, ha you add that little extra, which is a big extra, taking away the voice of the main character. It's like removing David Hayter from Solid Snake and putting a different actor in there. You could have a, a great different actor, but it's still not really Solid Snake if you remove the iconic voice actor. Same thing with, with Bayonetta. You remove the iconic voice actor with Elena Taylor voicing who invented the hellstyle Bayonetta. You remove her from the game. It, it then becomes a interpretation of Bayonetta. It doesn't really feel like it's the real Bayonetta though. You see what I mean? And now, unfortunately, due to what she did, I, I guess she was, had, had enough. She may not ever be the voice of Bayonetta again because of this. Unless they want to really fix it and pay her more money for maybe the next game if there is a next game and you know controversy sometimes brings more attention like it to the game itself so the game may sell way more now so who knows what will happen but right now it's up in the air and like I said in my video I don't know I don't know if I want to play this game um, right now. Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm like kind of on the fence. It's cringe. What I mean by cringe is that it makes me cringe thinking about it, playing this game, knowing what happened. It, it's not even about trying to support the developers who worked hard on the game. They're gonna make money either way. They're gonna get paid either way by Platinum Games and Nintendo. They've already made the game. The game's done. It comes out in less than two weeks. So if you want to support the developers by giving your money to Platinum Games and Nintendo, that's up to you. But they've already been paid for this game, okay? So don't don't think that they're going to be losing money because you don't buy the game. They've already they already got paid for their work on, you know, it's not like you make a game and don't get paid for it. Even if the game doesn't sell, you still got to pay your employees, you see. So by not buying this game it doesn't really do anything for the actual developers themselves yeah it's gonna hurt them maybe for for the next game or maybe they have to find you know something else but for this game they've already got paid and platinum games has been shooting themselves in the foot for quite a long time now making bad game after bad game so uh you know you may you may love bayonetta and i love bayonetta myself but like this kind of stuff it just makes me cringe thinking that I'll be paying them $60 to play a game where they completely disrespected the main character Bayonetta in the first place by removing the main voice voice actress so giving it not giving her money to even play the part that she's the main she's the entire game she's Bayonetta and uh, you know on top of that the situation with her like just asking for a little bit for more than $4,000 it's sad man it's really sad so, th so that's why i'm on the fence about it like the game may may be really fun but do i really want to play it um that badly I, I, right now i don't really i mean i i was excited to play it we're just talking here looking at the city i was excited to play it the day before this happened but right now it, it's it's making me cringe just think about it thinking about it because of of that situation Again, you do what you want to do with, with if you want to play the game and enjoy it. That's up to you, man. Um, like I said, I'm still undecided. So, what can I say? All right, let's get out of this uh, circular.
Today, we have several important public yeah, So... Enter the property. Let's see, I can do that. Uh, and I think for Bayonetta, it's more it's more so because I care about I care about the character, and I feel more attached to the actress who plays the character. You know what I mean? Because I followed her work. Uh, I know all about her work and everything. So if like. There were a lot of people upset about David Hayter, too, with Metal Gear Solid, but I didn't really care about that, personally, because it didn't... I wasn't in, interested in the series, you see what I'm saying? So it, it all depends on your interests as a gamer. If you if this affects you, or if it doesn't affect you, it all depends on your attachment to the character and the game. So that's why it's to each his own. Like, if you feel that you don't care about that and you want to buy the game, because you want to play the game because it's fun, or it looks fun, that's up to you. But, like... When I know, like, the personal anguish has caused a an actress that I've followed for years who played that character, it's really, uh, it really bothers me. Um, so it makes it so I just don't, I don't know if I want to, like, just force myself to play the game, you know, because, just because I need to cover it on my channel or something. I, I don't have Fuck to do that. Seafood barf. Hope it was expensive at least. Something's got to justify this level of tacky. Hope that makes sense. Okay, fine. Carry in his oh, villa. Fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt Carry picked this. Always ate out. Always. In other news, there's also Silent Hill. I guess uh, Konami's going to reveal something for Silent Hill finally on um, October 19th. Oh, beautiful it's been rumored for a long time, so I'm not, not too surprised. From silky samurai Christmas. We don't know what, exactly what they're going to um, show for, for Silent Hill, but people are hoping it's a brand new game or maybe a remake or something of the original. Um... It's been out of the spotlight for quite a while. But yeah, it's been rumored for like years and years and years that they're making a new Silent Hill game. I think way back in like 2018 or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, all, all those insiders are going to be right, guys. Five years later. It's, it's just what it is, you know. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Depends on the circumstances. I don't think there's any bad blood between Hater and Ko Kojima, or in other circumstances I can think of. It should make one ask what her attitude was during her various interactions with Platinum. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it may just simply be that uh, she was just uh, like, like, just like what she said. You know, she was just offered a really small amount. Probably the for only the lead character of the game. In this whole pad. We, we we won't know for sure, and obviously, uh, what's his name? Hideki Kamea is not saying anything. He's just being a his typical self. collection well now i am impressed played a few of these myself back in our samurai days yeah a simple way to fix the whole situation is is just simply have her voice bayonetta <laughs> and that's it and give give her what give her some you know compensation for being you know the main protagonist in the third game of the series. This might be the last game. Uh, why not? 
you know, pay her, pay her more than a ch you know, a few thousand dollars to, to play the, the protagonist role of the main franchise for like Nintendo's pushing. Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. Bet he sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for. Yeah, so like if, if you're not attached to the character as much as someone like me or or uh, you don't see the the big deal about not using her as a voice actress uh, for the game, then you know that you're gonna have a different opinion. And it's okay. You know, you can do what you wanna do with your money. It's gonna affect everybody differently, basically. So I, I don't I don't think it's necessarily wrong one way or another for the consumer. Whatever they want to do with their money, it's up to, it's up to you. Okay, what's this? Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for Kitch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. What's this? Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave, it'd be that one. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Okay. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. Time to be Johnny. so much better now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable Silverhand tell me before he died. Pretty cool, huh? I told you to stop being a pussy. Did you? Huh? Johnny, fucking hey, Silverhand. Hey, Olivia. <laughs> Fuck. 
I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Hey, don't hit me. I'm playing guitar for you. Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small time kleptopunk from the afterlife? Hmm. This is V. You'd like her? The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. I like Ain't that guitar. Playing guitar was cool. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. As sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road oh with gosh, your hair, put some pants on. Or cool and <laughs> relaxed in orbit. And now you've just popped by to shit all over my life. Well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck. Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. <laughs> so you're saying, yeah. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Best Can I ask him? Uh, it didn't give me the option to. Works for N54 News. Good. Track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay. Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm. I'm not there. Figure it out with me. Sure. Uh, you two get along. Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. Hmm. Thought we got along pretty well at the end. How am I? Johnny, you okay? <laughs> no. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. Sure. Okay, call in Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Sunday, let's go uh, watch a concert, right? <laughs> uh, we got here. It's a book. Call Nancy.
Nancy? I mean... Bess? Bess Isis? No. This is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Oh, Steven, right. N54 I'll give News. How one. can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. You talking about the actress, Michelle Rodriguez? I don't I don't know. Honestly. Maybe. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Taunton tent. Wow, this looks really cool. Let's see, how far away is that from here? Well, it's pretty far. You need to jet. Take it easy. Catch you on the next one. Have a great week. Hope your toe feels better. Shin, yeah. Uh, thanks, Bears. I'm sure Shin appreciates the sentiment. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Honestly, I already had to deal with the nonsense of VA replacement back when Persona 5 Golden came out and they had to replace a VA, one of the party members, and it still is a hot topic in the community. Wow. That long, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Shinigami, it's it's different for every game. Like and it's it's your own personal attachment to the character it means a lot. Just like I said, I don't personally care about Persona. I never played the series, not interested in it, so that stuff didn't affect me. Same with Metagur Solid, but Bayonetta, that affects me a lot more. What can you say? Yeah, for sure, man. Okay. Let's go, uh... Fuck all starting to come here. together. No media would ever go for the Taunton tents. Except Nancy. Agree, Dave. I was going to get Bayonetta and decided not, not to when I saw the news. Yeah, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. I mean, honestly, it's, this wasn't really Bayonetta in the first style? place. Minimalist. Used to have Chrome just like that. Start moving. Cool. Uh, one second, guys. Let me check something here. I'm gonna check something here in the game. I'm, gonna, I'm putting the screen on black for a second. Let me double check something. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I had a certain setting turned on. Okay. Totem tans too. Fuck yeah. Third four. Press the button. Come on. Well, up my go. fingers are numb. These people are all screwed up. <laughs> Mercy is for the weak. Sounds like Cobra Kai, huh? Hear that? Tinnitus today. All right, guys. This one I like. Go on. You'll blend in. No problem. Alright. 
Alright, we haven't been in this in this in a while. Fuck! No fucking way! Remember that tape from All Foods? That's the Rimbo who clipped the spider bot! No, 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 no! Wouldn't be that stupid to show here! You the one? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's her! Oh, look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the All Foods, punk! I'm not blind! What do you want? Watch out for that one. Best Isis. Mean anything to you? You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. Gotta talk? Sure. I'll take you. Okay. Too easy this is gone. Worry later, find Nancy first. Off topic, recently found someone had remixed the Jetto Gem Meter thing. You. For what? All food incident worked out pretty well for me. I guess any yes, huh? Cool. Pleasure's all mine. Song sounds like something I expect from Final Fantasy IV. Cool. Wouldn't mind playing this video. I watched the video comparison. Jennifer Hill sounds like her, but easy to hear the difference when you play both the previous games. Yeah, uh, that was that's another thing. I think it's easier to mimic. It's easier to mimic uh, Bayonetta's voice as a voice actor when you're doing the attacks like the get the and blah, 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 you know uh, all the the stuff she yells out i think it's easier to do that but if you pay attention to the cutscenes without her actually saying full sentences she doesn't sound like uh she doesn't sound the same she has a, she has a little bit of a jennifer harrell has a little bit of a higher pitch different tone she sounds similar but she doesn't sound the same at all um once you play the original game her voice is a uh, Helena Taylor's voice is Bayonetta, the real Bayonetta. <laughs> uh, her voice is a little lower pitch. Uh, she talks more, sl a little slow, more slowly, and with more um, emphasis. And you could tell like, that she's tried pretty hard, though, uh, Jennifer Hale. But it's definitely not, not the real Bayonetta. I was saying it earlier, it sounds like someone who's trying to sound like Bayonetta, but it's not her. I already said I Music Media, yeah, you said. How about we mix it up? You tell us how in the fuck you search her tundra that she still managed to call for help! Shit, that's Nance. <sighs> Did a number on her. Huh? I, I didn't call anyone. I don't even know her. But we do! And we won't have history repeating itself, damn it! You're gonna get it now! Wow, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I didn't expect him to attack me. What the heck? Carrie sent me. Carrie? Fuck, I do not get this. Uh-uh. Must have spent too much time with paranoid Patty in there. It's about Samurai. Talk later, okay? Right. Let's Delta. Follow me. I'll get us out of here. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
in the new upgrade guys you can do uh you can change your outfits like this is not what i'm actually wearing for my armor i'm wearing different things for my armor but thankfully you can now change your appearance without having to worry about what your armor is which is great so i got six different outfits now uh here's outfit number one Ready right my business attire outfit number two corporal business attire uh number three this is like my going out on a date kind of like outfit. Number four. Uh, more sassy, right? Nice. Uh, number five. Kind of like uh, more stylistic streetwear. And this is what I'm currently wearing right here, number six. Not bad. I like it. And um, I have I have new apartments too that I purchased, and you can they added a wardrobe section in your apartment. And you can change your outfits now, at your apartment. Pretty cool stuff. Let's take a look at. Uh, let's see, do I have any better armor to wear? I'm saying uh, plus. Okay, yeah, I do. I see. I can I can equip this, but it's not going to change my physical appearance. But it will increase my stats. See that? Yeah, thanks, Olivia. Uh, see, all this is downgraded here. Okay. Nothing good there. I think that was it. That's all I had was just that. What about this though? Yeah, nothing good. Better shoes? Nope. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. Can I upgrade my weapons that I have equipped right now? I really like my um my weapon set right now. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, it looks like I can't, I can't upgrade it though, or maybe I can. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have enough components still. Quite enough. Elevator, yeah. over there. Right. Let's go. Cool. Don't fucking drag this out. The fuck? Gotta be something. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Demon. She just like walked right past him, so. Let's 
Good. Disassemble those for our crafting materials. It's good. Those don't do anything. This is a new katana, by the way. It's a lot more powerful than the one I was using last time we played. Uh, let's see, Euro dollars. The big payout, if I can. There we go. Fifty-five, 1C, 1C, and 1C. We'll make sure we can get 1C. Maybe not. Oh no, messed that up. Let's try it again.
Hmm. I see, yeah, this thing is kind of screwy. Oh well. Got my technical ability up. Having a chance to listen to the soundtrack of this game, and I really should. Yeah, it's really good. You'll like it. Uh, you, I know you like techno stuff, but you really like the soundtrack for sure. I think they added some new songs too after the uh, the uh, in-game what's it in in runners update. Slow in this dump. Cars outside. You all right? I've had better days. That gonquette was sure I was a goddamn spy. She looks sick. <laughs> Just like everybody in this game. Okay, come on. Fuck. Just hope the car is still where I parked it. Why'd you come here? Really? I wanted to do a story on the music of the token. No wonder Patricia didn't buy your story. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, oh, could've been worse. That's why you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Conquer like this. Hope it gets us there. One piece. Guess you didn't like the car, huh? All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. Dystopian dirty clothes go together like eggs and bacon. <laughs> nice. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Let's just say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. You got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? Believe I just saved your ass? Too bad you couldn't wait until after I'd gotten some footage. Ugh. Patricia. Paranoid cunt bag. Wish I'd stop by when that other guy was in charge. Royce. No, you really don't. Believe me. What's your favorite uh, breakfast, guys? Speaking of eggs and bacon, I really like eggs and bacon personally. Gotta talk about food sometimes, right? We, we always end up talking about food at some point. That plus a stack of pancakes, nice. We're here. Hop out. All right. So, the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. She's, she sounds like the same voice actress as V. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. The closest thing to a glacier you taste. Don't worry. All it takes is a sip. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nancy. Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Ran into a few hiccups with the good folk from Maelstrom. Fuck yeah. Listen, I caught Henry. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. 
gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. At Denny's. Speaking Why? of breakfast. You're gonna play with us, aren't you? you gotta meet the others. This is hilarious. Send you the address. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I have, uh, in case you're wondering, I have it on ultra, ray tracing ultra settings. So yeah, this game looks really good with the ray tracing on ultra. Go to Denny's Mansion. Oh, he says Denny, Denny's Ma Mansion, so it's not the Denny's Restaurant. I'm thinking Denny's, we're, think, we're talking about breakfast, I'm thinking going to Denny's. That's just what we were th thinking about. But he's talking about somebody's actual name, named Denny, I guess. Right, let's, let's, uh, let's see, I got some new cars here, right? Quartz Bandit. Did I... is this the Junker car? That's kind of cool. I don't think I've even tried this one yet. I got this, I think, the last time I played. Not bad. High octane. This might be better for, like, off-road. I think this is better for off-road stuff. definitely more of a muscle car for I think off-roading stuff chat and just crash into something you get funeral cakes at ihop funnel cakes on the funeral cakes you get funnel cakes at ihop I used to work there denny's i'm not sure funnel cakes uh, yeah i'm not sure about denny's i think denny's and ihop are, are pretty good in a, in a jiffy but it uh, it and i mean by that but like if you're in a hurry but it depends on which ones you go to like if you have certain ones are better than other ones in your local area i found out like i have like like f three or four denny's in the area i live in and there's only one that's actually like really good same with ihop too there's like there's one that stands out as being better quality than the others Depends on how they're run by the employees and how much time they spend making the food for you, you know. A little squirrely. This car is a little squirrely on the turning. We have a local diner uh, that Grandpa goes to every Saturday for breakfast with his war buddies. <laughs> Would 100% choose him over IHOP Denny's any day. Yeah, it, 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 uh, you know, there's always some local place that is probably like really good, and there's also places like that where I live too. There's way better places than those two. 
see those? Uh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Whoops. Right then. Guess we keep looking. Stupid thing. There's like a weird glitch sometimes that happens in this game that it'll make you keep shooting when you interact with something. So I should have put my gun away like this, and then I would have been fine. Weird. Uh, find Denny and Henry. Go to Denny's first before finding Denny, yeah. <laughs> I got to break in there, I guess. You fucking got? Who oh boy? Danny, Sounds what? sadly familiar. What are you doing here? V. Uh, good you This here. is really your house? We got a problem. This is your fucking Is this pool? supposed to be Henry's surprise? You're gonna pay yeah, for this I obviously piece of missed shit. a few beats. Looks like you bet I will. he was holding Just some sort so of I can come back again. So he flooded the pool with concrete. Maybe then you'll tell me why the hell you me to die in the emotional. street. What about Left the concert? Die. Haven't gotten a chance to uh, ask I Benny yet. Doesn't die. look good though. V, why talk to them. Carrie will just home. make it worse. Uh, get the fuck not out! Not really my biz. Go, go. They'll get past what? it. This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? <laughs> Look at this hair. It's nice. We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. Bring That's some what Denny. he wants to get the crew together for? Some Denny's? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Denny! No. No way. Either him or me. Choose. Denny digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man. Denny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Uh-oh. V, help me out with this, please. So, it's either <sighs> if we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me. Listen, I'll get you. You know what, Carrie? Fuck you. Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. Hmm. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Okay, about all we can do for now. We got a bad Except now. to wait for Nancy to call. 
What a day for Nancy's call. Okay. Huh? Nice car. Doesn't really do much for me though, as far as stats are concerned. Sorry it played out like that. <laughs> they leave me alone. This guy. Day, it said. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, my gosh. Press the Windows key. Gotta gotta press the Z key. It's like right under the, the Z key is the Windows key. It's, it's crazy how that takes you completely out of the game. I was getting a message from Judy too. Where'd it go? Um, I did a quest with Judy. I completed her her quest line. So there shouldn't really be any more, uh, stuff with her. I don't know. Waiting for her to call me, or it's not. She's not calling the first. This game does that.
Look at crime. Yes. Hey, gigs all set up super sweet like tonight at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. I haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <laughs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your ex. Got the gear all rounded up. Alright, go to Red Dirt in the evening. Okay. This game's very beautiful. The developers did a great job in this game. Yeah, they did. Foggy night. Winds picking up. Function. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silver Hands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whispered Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true. Because there won't be a dress rehearsal. I play really good. <laughs> I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. 
Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, okay, let's take our pill right. so we can play the guitar. Ready to thrash? Have fun. It's like Cinderella, it lasts for a certain amount of time. <laughs> That's a motor. There you are. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. Chill, She's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake in under control. Think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Let's start the concert. All right. Let's do this. This should be cool. The hell? <laughs> Perform with Carrie, okay. Cool. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove to myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. 
want to do it again. Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. You want to hear a new... Johnny! Ugh. He's... gone, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but he can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. Ooh. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me? Yeah. And earlier... And... never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's no. gone off. Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Still, still, I'm still on that, that last mission. I've, I've already beat the game, but you know how you beat the game and you, uh, you go back to where the last mission is so you can complete the side quests. And there's, there's been a lot, a ton of things to do, honestly. So yeah, I got all these side quests to do still. It's crazy. I don't don't like him that much. We'll save him for later. Investigate, sit, click message. Let's do that one. Oh, what's this? Oh. B. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. Call in to offer my condolences. Offer your condolences. Ay, eso Cristo vi. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyoteco home. Many of his friends will be there. Hmm. Okay. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Being real for Jackie. Ahí te veo, B. El Coyote. Come. That car to be real for to belong to me. Yeah, exactly. Cool car. <clears throat> I don't know if you were on the stream where I or I unlocked it. I got the car for free. Pretty cool. It's like the Batmobile. This game is very photogenic. Same 
It's like screensaver. <laughs> to do, uh, let's see, photo mode, you click the end button, I believe. I think. There's a B. I think you have to be out of your car, though. Oops. <laughs> Could have sworn photo mode was just pressing B. What happened? So I just did a photo. Now I'm curious. The have the street cad requirement from level 20 to 40 to get to the car, did they not? I remember getting it level 20 before one of my mini patches. Oh, I guess they did, Natasha. Welcome, by the way. I, I got the car at level 20, um, if you remember. So I think I got lucky. Um, I wonder why I can't do photo mode right now. You see something. <laughs> that music. Yeah. Uh, press the end button on the keyboard. It's not working. Oh, now it works? What on earth? This game. Let's see, if we sit and stand in front of this, will it work? Ooh. Let's see, we can um, zoom way in. Can I have a look at the camera? This is how you do it. Uh, let's see. Pose. The gun. That's pretty cool, huh? Stop, police. It's kind of hard because we're against the wall there, but there's a really nice uh, glow here.
Hmm. It's just not not a good angle enough. Uh, let's see. Old table. We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So. Oh, you just re re right before talking about breakfast? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you watch the beginning, we're I'm um, talking about Bayonetta, the Bayonetta three situation. Yeah, sorry about that. Nothing I can do about that. Strange. Yeah, that, that's when I talked about it. Okay. That's okay. Uh, looks nice for the car, though. Looks really nice in the car. Nice to see you. Okay, sit. Sit. You want a beer? I'm, I'm texting while I'm talking to the, the mother of Jackie. <laughs> texting Judy Alvarez. Catch you later. Salute. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. Let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. I want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm hmm But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't mi niña. worry. <laughs> He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama okay. Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. All right. Let's check it out. Hi, V. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna Space sit? Ace Catch 72. Up? Uh, no, I'm playing the regular PC version. It's not modded or anything. But it is on ultra settings, ultra ray tracing settings. It's uh, pretty much maximum settings. Just, well, human, I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Looks Did he good, really huh? say that? <laughs> I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him, the real Jackie. 
Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was, Jack was a little of that too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve and wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Oh, you got you got mods, yeah. Uh, I'm sure. Well, you posted probably on what Nexus mods. That's usually where you can find them. Yeah, I haven't really tried many mods for the gameplay aspect. I think I, I've tried a few reshade mods on this, uh, but it doesn't didn't look quite as good as I would have ima imagined for Cyberpunk with reshade because it's su it's such a new game, and um, it already has fantastic graphical effects. It doesn't really need reshade much. So. Uh, yeah, one of those things. Mama Wells is having a send off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Yeah, help me open the door. Be useful. Yeah, a game looks right either way. Yeah, I, I might check out some mods in the future. Oh, Jackie, what do you got going on here in this in this uh, garage? The room the bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted Evil more West? out of life. Yeah, I am Dante's actually. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. I might pick that up. Looks like a pretty fun, um, like, zombie slash, like, what, like, what was it? It's like werewolf? Dracula kind of like zombie thing? I don't know. It's hard to <laughs> say what it This'll is. This'll be <laughs> fitting. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. Third person action game. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere. Horror western thing. Yeah, exactly. Jack. Pure and simple. Okay, I took the book. Find the key of Jackie's room. It's right there, isn't it? What is that? Found it. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey. You all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. 
I guess you made it dead. Whoa, uh, looks like my OBS disconnected real quick and then reconnected. Looks like we're okay. <laughs> that was weird. Hello? Anybody there? Yeah, go ahead and tell me which uh, of the three mods. Uh, I, I, I don't allow links, though, in the chat. You can just tell me what they are. I can look at it later. Isn't it just a little janky? It's hideous, but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. An aquarium? Cool. Thanks, uh, Space and Taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Well, yeah, if uh, you like a gameplay like this, you should uh, subscribe. Uh, and... Uh... Anybody who subscribes will qualify for a gift card when I reach a thousand subscribers on this live channel. This is not my main channel. My main channel is Super Mail Day 64. And this is the live channel variant of that. Taking this. Yeah. Perfect for Jackie. And if you're new to YouTube, you should get a profile picture too, like everyone everyone else does, because you get you get a lot of bots, you know. Uh let's see what we got here. Thanks, man. I just had I just did a full playthrough of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, just we finished last the the full playthrough last week. Fantastic game. But yeah, if you like games like this, these are these are are my cup of tea. I also like uh, Resident Evil. Uh, I do a lot of Metroid stuff on Saturdays usually. On Sundays I usually play other other games. But yeah, sci-fi stuff like this, I, I love it. Sorry if you don't see me all of a sudden. No, it's okay, buddy. It's a chill stream, you know, the, these this is what uh tends to happen sometimes. It's alright. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. True memento, this. And a belt, huh? <clears throat> I love a whole host of games I've done for 30 years now. Oldish. Hey, no worries, man. I'm probably older than you. <laughs> uh, let's see. He love this piece of metal. Look, this bike is... Fine piece of metal and mechanics. Bike's all glitching out. He was funny. so psyched. I think that's it. All right. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. Mama. It's for family. Mama you Wells. were family to him. I guess you're right. Oh, you're in the Thanks, 70s. V. Yeah, I guess you are older than me. So? Okay. Shall we go? It's all good. 
gaming, uh, gaming is for all ages. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? I mean, the coyote packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. My deepest condolences. He was a fine boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. Vi, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hmm. Baby. Yeah, I understand. You're born in the 70s. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Hmm. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Uh, I haven't heard of any Doctor Who open world game. Uh, the Akatis. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, <laughs> we had this saying Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's yeah, poor heart Jackie was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? Uh, no. Well, I'll say I'll say something if I can. I uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It feels like it happened a century ago. At Another time, in another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie. Wells. Practically every night someone on here is playing this live shows what a great game it has become. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Definitely has a, a lot of staying power. It became something a lot better over time. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, 
The one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. Wish I'd get the tech to stream your own games. Uh, you need, uh... I got two PCs. I'm, I'm streaming this game on a, a streaming PC, and I'm playing the game with max settings on the gaming PC. I have a 4K camera, lighting, green screen. It takes a lot of stuff to, to have a good stream. High bit rate uh, for the uh, high quality uh, stream, you know, on the on the on the YouTube. He kept Haywood in his heart always. It made him who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. <laughs> Thought really he was bulletproof. Talking him up, aren't we? And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, bet just about now he's flipping him all the bird. I think this is a good one. He feared no one and wasn't afraid. Lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. To Jackie. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. 50,000 people, people playing at 1.2 million Even playing? That yeah, you mean like Jackie on Steam? With. I only just got my Pride and Joy PC, so happy to play without limitations. Exactly. Mm, Rayito de Sol. What's wrong? Bill Hicks fan. Um, I've heard of him. I'm not really, uh, I don't think I'm too familiar. Her name Why do you ask that? Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuidate, V. Cuidate. Careful. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, Gonna I miss him. Break. Right, let's go. Do. <laughs> me too, chica. Uh, me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Yeah, I definitely heard of him. For sure. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Talk to Padre, talk to the bartender. Pour you another for Jaquito. Pour for Jackie. Mm -hmm. Nice and drunk for Jackie. <laughs> Amen, sister. That's enough, though. Uh, talk to Padre. Where's Padre at? That's Mama Wells.
Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. I'm in the United States. West Coast. Jackie chose his friends well. Let me go up here really quick and check this out. That's him. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Bye. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. <laughs> I got quite a few people uh, from the UK who uh, watched me actually. Pretty cool. Oh, this is uh, back to that again. Okay, cool. Nice. Save over this one. All right, cool. Yeah, guys. So I'm gonna cut it short today. About it's about two hour stream. Um, there's some stuff I gotta take care of tonight, so I can't I can't play for too long. But I just want to chill a little bit. And then we talked about Bayonetta three at the beginning, um, the situation. So if you missed that, go back to the beginning. I talked for about 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes about Bayonetta 3 and all the situation regarding that, my opinion, the situation regarding Helena Taylor and everything. Like I said, I'm still undecided about my final stance on where I'm going to, if I'm going to play the game or not. Again, it's, it's all to each his own. Um, <clears throat> if you have a connection with the character, you may feel differently. You know what I mean? Like uh, for me, I feel differently as to pose, opposed to someone like David Hayter from Metagear Solid with them when they replaced him as the voice actor. I didn't really care about that. Again, it's a personal connection. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, uh, cut it there. So have a good rest of your night guys. Appreciate you coming out. Uh, appreciate the, the, the new, the new people coming by space ace. Um, and, uh, Aka Tsuki, if I saw you say your name, thanks for coming by. I'm not sure if you're new or not, but yeah, appreciate your guys' support. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you next time. Take care.